Funding is provided by a grant from New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District with a local office in Olean. Funding is provided by a grant from Absolute Care of Westfield, committed to returning the favor to those who spent a lifetime caring for others. Absolute Care is located at 26 Cass Street in Westfield. Dave Cass and Rick Newell provide funding on behalf of the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the Docks, located on Water Street, near the lake, in Mayville. From the Access Channel 5 television studio in Mayville, it's Senior Report with Reed Powers. Join us live Saturday mornings between 9 and 10 a.m. in Fredonia, Mayville, and Silver Creek. Call in and share a thought or wish someone a happy birthday with Chautauqua County's only live on-air senior program. Reed continues in his 15th year with interesting guests expressing their viewpoints and informing the community on a variety of subjects. Here's the host of the show, Reed Powers. And good morning. What a beautiful day we have here in Chautauqua County. And I mean it. It's lovely. A little rain coming down, which is just going to be perfect for the grapes and the, the corn and the harvested crops that are coming home now. And the apples are just beginning to fall. Don't forget to pick up some falls. So you, they usually don't. Most of them, are if, when they're fresh, they're, they're in, uh, in good shape. And you just pick up a half bushel of them or a five-gallon bucket of them and take them home and peel them when you're watching TV and core them and put them in the freezer. And they freeze beautifully. And you'll have apples right through to the next uh, season. Can't beat it. Same with tomatoes. If you can find some tomatoes that are picked over, ask if you can glean. You know, in the Bible, the gleaners are mentioned repeatedly. To the gleaners belong the harvest after it is picked over. And they get the last stuff. So ask if you can glean those tomatoes. And usually a farmer will say yes, or somebody has a big lot of tomatoes. They'll say, sure, go ahead. You pick up a bunch of those, and you clap them. And what you do is you take them and put them between your hands like this and go quack. And all the juice and garbage and the pulp and crap, the stuff that's meaningless, it, it claps out. Um, and then you have a nice flat tomato which just has the meat. And you stack a thousand of these into a, uh, into a gallon bag and tie them up and put them in the freezer. They'll last you till kingdom come. <laughs> You'll have more tomatoes than you can stand. No pots, no pans, no hot water, no kettles, no, no bottles, no, no seals, none of that stuff. Forget it. <laughs> Costs you as much, I think, to heat, uh, heat, uh, to heat the cans when you can them. Because it does that you save. Well, but if you can get them free, take them. Peaches, apples, whatever you can find. Pears, they're all over the place. We're, we have an abundance of wonderful free food here in Chautauqua County. And there's roadkill besides. <laughs> Everywhere you go, there's a dead deer that's just been hit. Pick it up. Don't be shy. The police will say, take it away. They're happy to have it off the road. That's 50 pounds of good meat every time you pick up a de dead deer. <laughs> I don't know if I'd fuss with the rabbits and coons, but the deer, hey, venison. All right, enough said. We got a great guest. We've got uh, a friend who comes in all the time, and uh, his name is Fred Coscut. And he sure does the job. And I'll tell you one thing. He's the, now the uh, chairman over there at the Stock County Legislature. Since Greg is on the, on the, on the campaign trail now, uh, he's the only guy there who has any authority. He runs the legislature now. <laughs> Once in a while, he calls Greg and tells Greg what he's going to do, but that's it. Um, Greg is running for the, uh, the assistant to the, uh, the, let's see, what is it? The, not Lieutenant the governor, governor. Lieutenant Governor. Not the corporal, but the lieutenant governor, who incidentally is never heard of again, <laughs> unless the governor gets caught in a, whor in a brothel <laughs> or something like that. Goodbye, Mr. Patterson. We'll see you. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that stuff. What's going on around us? Look at the news. I can't even watch TV. You can't watch it either. Um, we, 
Right now we're, 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 we're quote, withdrawing from Iraq. Yeah, we're going to leave another 50,000 troops there who will not be combative unless they need, they're needed. And it looks like the Iraqis will always need them because they have a history of turning and running whenever there's heat. So <laughs> I don't know that we're really withdrawing. And uh, in the meantime, uh, of course, they're sending... We have 100,000 troops in Afghanistan, a country that's never been civilized by the British, the Russians. Uh, I think uh, Constantine, uh, Constantine <laughs> thousands of years ago, they've been trying to civilize these mountaineers, and it doesn't work. They cream you, and they, you run away with your tail between your legs, and guess what the next country will be that runs away after spending a trillion dollars, or more than a trillion, trillions of dollars, losing thousands of our boys. Yeah, I'm not, I, I won't tell you. I'll let you guess what that next nation's going to be. <laughs> yeah, there's plans of possible withdrawal, some of the troops, in a few years. Good Lord, help us. What an idiot, these people. What's going on in Washington? We need new people. I keep getting an email. Vote them all out, every single one of them in Congress. Senators and, and, uh, and congresspersons, congressmen, vote them all out. Let God sort them out. <laughs> no, you didn't notice I got a haircut, did you? I had my ears lowered. Usually, I, I, well, I go over to Debbie's on Portage, yeah, right around the corner from my house. And uh, I, go in, whether, I go in twice a year whether I need it or not for a haircut. That's why it gets kind of shaggy toward the end of the year. But... Uh, Debbie didn't do it. She wasn't there. We had a, she has a new, new friend there, Shannon Ryan. And Shannon gives you a nice haircut. She gave me a nice chop. And uh, oh, how can you go wrong with that? Now, I want to say one thing. If you believe the New York State Legislature is going to be corrected by new people going in any more than the Congress is going to be corrected by new people going in, you are living in a dream world. These, the, I think these... These bodies are, are so corrupt and incorrigible that they cannot be changed at this point. Uh, the only way you, I think you can change anything is just throw them all out. I'd throw everybody out, excepting for, I guess, I kind of like uh, our, our current state senator. <laughs> uh, Kathy Young is doing a pretty good job. She brought a lot of dough up here anyway. As, once, she, uh, once she was in, a, in power, now that the Republicans are theoretically lost power there. It's a God knows what's going on. Nobody knows who's running, really running the uh, New York State Senate. It's just a kind of a madhouse. <laughs> I don't know how they did finally pass the budget, but it has been passed, they tell me, <coughs> to a degree. They're still quibbling about a lot of the language, though, and the devil's in the details. Locally, Chautauqua County, we're going to find out how we're doing. Fred's going to tell us about the tax increase, or none. <laughs> <laughs> we have the highest taxes, according to the newspaper, in the United States, in Chautauqua County. So we'll let Fred uh, explain how that's not really true. <laughs> but uh, the paper is so state. And uh, at any rate, we, we got a lot to talk about on our county level here. And we're going to be talking about the lakes and some of the stuff going on in Chautauqua Lake and other gorgeous lakes, which uh, are the same problems all over the country right now, but especially in Chautauqua County. We have that Chautauqua Lake, which has a nasty weed problem, and they've tried everything. They've got mowers that won't go down there and mow it. If it's like mowing your lawn, the weeds just grow back. <laughs> they say, use poison. Well, environmentalists say you can't poison our, our lakes with chemicals. No. <laughs> so the only thing left, I guess, is to go down and pull them up by the root. <laughs> you haven't got enough divers for that. All right, we'll talk about all that later. In the meantime, let's, let's get to some of our senior stuff here. We've got some great senior senior report uh, material here because all the uh, I want to thank the the uh, incidentally the uh, the disturber don't cut the disturber <laughs> observer um, they have a great senior section and it's every Friday and some of it Saturday often and they give you a lot of good information and if people send it in and I get some stuff that comes into me and it looks it's perfect you notice I do have the cheaters below, but I don't have anything above because I had new eyes put in, replacement eyes, a couple weeks ago. If you have cataracts, get them fixed. It's unbelievable what they do. It takes 15 minutes. They go in and through a little tiny pinhole, which they put on the side, and they paralyze your eye so you don't really feel the thing. You don't even know what's going on. Well, you do know, but it, you can watch it, but it doesn't. you don't feel it. And they put a little pinhole in, and then they uh, go in, and they shock with sound 
your old lens, which has is filthy, it's full of cataract stuff, and you can't see, you're blind in it. They clean that out, flush it out through the little hole, and they have a collapsible lens, a plastic lens that folds right up into a teeny weeny thing, and they slip it in, and it pops open, and you've got a brand new eye. And it's unbelievable. Everything's bright, colors are there, you can see like a hawk. I can see, I see license plates down at the uh, three blocks away. I read them. I say, gee whiz. And people with normal uh, sight, they can't see them. <laughs> and the haze goes away, you people that have, uh, know, you understand, they've had uh, cataracts. Get it done immediately, it's worth it. And Medicare covers most of it, and your, your rest of your insurance, if you have the Medigap, it'll cover the rest. All right, let's talk about some real stuff here. I can still see nicely. You will need readers, unless you have the close-up lens, and then you'll need uh, glasses for the distance. <laughs> but who wants that? Uh, 100 seniors went to the Sharon Care Indoor Picnic, which was held last week. And I'll tell you, that is incredible for a crowd. They, they go to the, the Beaver, Beaver Club, and they have their picnic and fruit punch and hors d'oeuvres and so forth, social art at the bar. I bet they have something else too. <laughs> the Little Big Band did the music and it's a great bunch over there. I did want to mention that uh, they, uh, <clears throat> all seniors are welcome over there and they say, hey look, uh, they're going to have James Redman from the Social Security office talking about Social Security. Well, that's a nice talk, something to talk about since the Congress in their wisdom has not given you a Social Security raise worth a hoot in uh, over almost 10 years now, and this year there's gonna be no raise for your COLA, all it's promised to COLA. Oh, there's no inflation, so we're not gonna give you any COLA. Pull up, that's full. You know what I'm talking about. The stuff you have up in your farm there, a lot of it. He raises cattle, uh, dairies. Okay, now, so uh, yeah, enough said. Congress gave themselves a big raise, but they, they screwed the seniors by no COLA at all for the next two years. And I just got notice of my New York State COLA. They have a, a small pension. 1%. <laughs> my taxes, local taxes have gone up more than that. Not to mention the price of anything in the supermarket. Yeah, they don't raise the price anymore. What they do is they make the, the container the same size, the same price, but they put less in it. You notice tuna fish cans, they, they now have five ounces instead of six ounces. Cat food the same. Have you noticed that the pound now seems to be 15 ounces or 14 ounces? The half pound has dropped from seven, from eight to seven, and even six. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Try to make two sandwiches out of a can of tuna these days, folks. You can't do it. Well, you can, but it's getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Before long, seniors are gonna be eating this stuff right here. You know what that is? That's, that's cat food, cat food. They ate it during the Depression. And <clears throat> that's all you're going to have money left for after your drugs are taken care of. All right. Enough said. Brockton. Patterson is coming to talk. I want to say happy anniversary over in Brockton, Portland. You wonderful people there. Um, Margaret Dale. 90 years young. Old, oh, whatever. You know, Margaret, remember, you can get into Chautauqua for absolutely nothing for free now. September 14th at 4 p.m. They're going to have a dinner over there at the uh, uh, Brockton Portland Seniors. It's going to be a big, great dinner. The meeting's held at 4 o'clock, September 14th, and it'll be held before dinner. Then you go on to dinner. Dinner's going to be a whole great, big, wonderful deal there. And it's uh, for members only, of course. And there are no takeouts. <laughs> I suppose if you know somebody who's ill, you can take them. Happy birthday to Dorothy Sarniak over there, Lakeshore Senior. Leah Charlene Hallmark is doing the job over there. She says, you guys come join us. Our next meeting is September 8th, and uh, you'll meet uh, the refreshment committee at Wazinski and Herbinick. They are the ones who serve the coffee, and they, they shake hands and say, hello, and t a tiny feaster will be helping out with Stella Mikulak. <laughs> uh, Forestville. Pioneer Club, first meeting coming up uh, in the, the new session is September 13th. And uh, they usually meet the first Monday of the month, but Labor Day is the first Monday, so, you know, nobody's meeting on Labor Day. Um, they're having